How's everybody doing? Before I get started here, I would like to say hello to a few people. That's 156 Media, Dr. Thorpe Lee, Alex Collier, David Wilcox, Alex Jones, a few others. My computer has been hacked for a while. All types of people are my computer. If anybody in the truth movement has hacked into my computer, I'd like to know what's the difference between you and them. I don't appreciate it. And I'm not stupid. With that out of the way, I would like to clear a few things up. First, I never speak in absolutes. I try to keep a balance. With that being said, I have nothing against puppy dogs. I have nothing against motorcycles, motorcycle clubs. I take it on an individual to individual person basis. I have nothing against people who have long hair who like to dress with secondhand stuff and smoke pot. If you want to classify them as hippies, I don't. After my last video, people, not in my immediate family, but family members nonetheless, left this around my house as something of a joke here. Okay. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So, I guess I'm gonna have to clear a few things up about the last video. Everyone knows problem, reaction, solution here, or thesis and antithesis, antithesis. So, in the Vietnam War, we had a bunch of chicken hawks. We had a bunch of people who supported the war, claimed to be patriotic, and sent their children to go kill and die in Vietnam. So they were on a death trip. They were programmed in this death trip. Now, a big part of that war, as always, was over control. Some of it was over drugs, or a big part of it was over drugs. So to protest this situation, the hippies decided to do the exact opposite as the people in the death trip. So they went into a love trip, the opposite extreme. And anybody who knows anything knows that you can't fight fire with fire. You can't decide to make a change by, by opposing something by being the exact opposite extreme. Because it usually ends up in the same place. And the irony of the Vietnam War is that you have people dropping out of society. They're having sex with each other. And they're using a lot of these hard drugs that are being shipped over in the body bags of dead Vietnam veterans. So you can see how crazy that whole thing is. To move the drugs the government was bringing in, for a while they used the uh, motorcycle some motorcycle clubs or individuals inside the motorcycle clubs. The motorcycle groups were infiltrated just like the hippie movement was infiltrated. They just ran different programs on these people. People have to understand that. The uh, certain motorcycle groups would supply the drugs to the hippies. They were regarded as even a security force. They were, some motorcycle groups were even asked to do security at a Rolling Stones concert. So you could see how much sway or pull these people had. Now, the CIA is trained to recognize a bad thing and take advantage of it when they see it. And so out of this free love movement, out of the hippie movement, you had the CIA move in and start their mind control and pedophile rings. And that's what became 
that's what became a lot of these these commune or hippie groups you got the finders you got uh, Spalding's Ranch that was all CIA programming camps Spalding was most likely a high-level witch if you research this you'll find many high-level witches are blind and they do this for a series of reasons first of all if they're blind they uh, their other senses are increased they see things differently they see things with their mind sometimes they're blinded so there's all these types of things going on but Charles Manson said they were all hands to a blind head now Spalding he was the top handler he was this old man and they admitted that they, he would have sex with these younger girls but he was running that whole show so Charles Manson came out of the prisons out of the underworld programming centers the elite will send their kids that are gifted very intelligent they'll bring it to a, a place to have them tested if they have you know certain gifts and uh, the CIA gets in their life that way and only the strong survive in those training facilities and then you have the training facilities for people that are coming out of the, uh, the, the lower income communities and that is usually the prisons and the mental hospitals but as you know they always cross criss and cross over and they merge these groups all the time that's how they run things so the sheriffs understood that there was a lot of crazy stuff happening at the uh, Spalding Ranch there were people constantly coming and going to be trained um, then after a while all the children were being born now a lot of those children were molested a lot of negative stuff was happening out of that situation now Charles Manson he was a mind control victim he's a very intelligent person and a lot of times when people think he's talking crazy he's not talking crazy he's speaking in code and he's telling you a lot of good information I don't agree with everything Charles Manson says he believes in a new world order he believes uh, in killing a lot of people to protect the environment so basically he's very strong but they ran a program on him but it's silly to think that he op he ran that whole operation himself you got girls that are coming out of the Satanism groups you got people coming out of the CIA you have all these groups of people coming and leaving the Spalding Ranch doing all sorts of things now the reason Manson probably went to jail okay was that Charles Manson recognized that something was happening there and he decided to start doing something else and then you have him moving from the Spalding Ranch up to the that other ranch the Barker Ranch and he brought a group of people that he was close to now I wasn't there obviously I don't know the situation was happening there but Charles Manson obviously was going against some of the programming that he was had in his mind and when the deaths were kind of a war between these different witchcraft groups and pig the word pig people think it means cop people think it means society people but there's another word for pig and pig means pedophiles in government and that's all these code and when they say that why did they kill Sharon Tate why did they kill the baby what did they think and they said that's one child that won't go to the war because they knew what type of family that child would be born into okay they knew that it was a negative situation they weren't any choir girls or choir boys that were doing that but it was a war between these different groups so it's interesting that Tex Watson and a couple of chicks ran up on all these guys and they took over that house 
you know, they had to be pretty strong mentally. They psyched them out. It was a battle of wits. And the, um, the Tate clan over there, they lost big time. So when you hear about Charles Manson talking about a race war and starting all this war, I think he's also talking about a war between the Black Lodge versus the White Lodge. Now, there's no such thing anymore as white and black lodges. Okay, they've both been infiltrated by negative people. 